Dr. Andrew Arcan's ER at Markham Stouffville Hospital is as busy as he's ever seen it. Our hospital is running uh, well over 100% capacity on, on pretty much every day. The result? Patients sick enough to be admitted, spending unprecedented lengths of time stuck in the emergency room, waiting for a bed on the ward. And that is at a level that we've not seen uh, ever before in our department's history, uh, nor during the pandemic itself. And it's not unique in Ontario. We're basically stretched like no time I've ever seen in my career. And that's going back 15 years. Dr. Howard Evans has worked in ERs for more than 40 years. Our emergency departments are under more stress than I've ever seen in my career. The emergency room at CHEO, the major children's hospital in Ottawa, says they just saw the busiest spring weekend in its history. The latest Ontario figures show the average patient spends a record high 20 hours in the emergency room waiting to get admitted. The emergency departments are on fire. I think that's probably the best way to describe how emergency services are operating. What's going on? Even though the number of COVID patients in hospital has been steadily dropping, the pandemic is still a factor. Staff are calling in sick because of COVID exposures or they're burned out. I don't think the people in Ontario really know what is going on in the emergency rooms. One registered nurse for 31 patients, and that's in an eMERGE. The ERs are seeing growing numbers of people who don't have a family doctor, and more seriously ill people than ever before, often because they delayed treatment during earlier waves. People presenting in a much more ill state of whatever illness they might have, be it, you know, uh, cancer, heart disease, um, what, diabetes, whatever the case may be, they're coming in and they're coming in sicker. With hospitals working flat out to catch up on postponed surgeries, the wards are full. That creates a backlog in emergency and longer waits either to see a doctor or to get a bed. So, Mike, the, the problems in the emergency room seem pretty clear, but what about the solutions? Well, in the short term, there's hope that less spread of COVID is going to help with the staffing crunch. But there's a major shortage of nurses all around Ontario. The government has a plan to hire more, but that's the kind of thing that's going to take time. As do any of the solutions that have to do with the root causes. Why is it that the emergency rooms are so backed up? Well, it's because the wards are full. Why are the wards so full? There's a bunch of patients needing to be discharged, but there's nowhere for them to go. Long-term care, home care, that's not available. The Premier, Doug Ford, said in the election campaign, he's going to build more of that, but that takes time. Everything does. Mike Crawley, thank you. You're welcome.